I'll first start with um, duplicate a layer and then um, add a hue and saturation layer. So this hue and saturation, saturation layer is to um, change the floor um, change the floor color into the uh, to match the background color. Uh, I'm editing four images at the same time, so um, you can see the this one as an example. I copied the same layer and use the uh, white brush to brush onto the floor job to make the color match in the backdrop color. Because I shoot with a little bit yellow, um, this removes the yellow tint. So coming back to this image, I'll show the before and after. Combine these two layers and see the original and the after. And I also did a bit of cloning at the edge, so the background is merging with the floor. And going to editing the skin. Um, I usually edit all the skins at the same time, so I edit four images at the same time. First, remove some um, some of the spots of the flags. Some of the flags, remove them using the uh, spot healing tool. Okay, then the next step is to uh, edit the skin to perfection. I use uh, LSP actions to edit skin. So at this moment, I used uh, the soft skin natural uh, or natural skin, soft skin natural, that's the action. So just basically it goes over where you want the skins to be smooth. There's a few ways to smooth the skin. Um, uh, sometimes I use portraiture as well. Um, in the next couple of images I'll show how I use portraiture too. And then the next step is to uh, remove some of the redness of the hand, the, fing the fingers, the purplish fingers. Firstly, remove the redness. It's also the action. It's called reduce the reds. And there's some red spots on the face. You can remove that at the same time. Then it's uh, the fingers become a bit purple, so use the uh, um, grey skin booster to lift up the skin tone. Then it's still quite dark, so use the brighten, brighten baby up action to brighten up the fingers. You don't have to use the actions, but it just makes life easier.
in these images I use portraiture because I just want to quickly add the skin it doesn't have to be perfect portraiture is good enough to go uh, so after the portraiture you'll see it's blurring everything it's okay um, I use the uh, command F, uh, control command F to do all the images at the same time. So you, after that, you create a white mask using a black brush to 100%, remove to brush out the uh, eyes and lips and some creases on the skin just to help the details pop out. Oops. Yeah, remember the hair as well. You don't want it being blurred. And eyelashes and brows, nose, those details you have to brush them out so they are not blurred. Um, yeah, just uh, do all the images at the same time. It saves. Same face saves a lot of time. In here, I wanted to do some liquify because the baby's face is a little bit distort, um, just tiny bit. So you don't go crazy. She look, she look very odd. When you shoot the image, it's important to make sure baby's face is still um, is still looking good. It's not being uh, being how to say distorts too much. I just do some minor liquid five in the end. It. It's perfect if you want to do it, but it, you can. You don't have to if you don't want to do it. Okay, so remove some of the red spots and some snows. I use artificial snows. Uh, it goes everywhere. In here I use reduced red to remove some of the redness on the skin. You can see on the baby's back it's quite red. You remove that a little bit. Merge two layers. And then because of the floor has the um, doesn't have a good transition with the background so I use the cloning tool just uh, to I think 50% or 40% to clone the edge
before and after. The last step is I want to add some snow effect onto the image, not all of the images, I just want to add into one. So that's the, um, that's a layer mask, that's a layer of the snow and change it to screen, screen merging mode. Reduce the capacity, opacity to 80%, maybe 60-80%. And then using a black brush on a white mask to remove the snow on baby's face. And because you want the uh, snow has some depth, depth of field, um, I would just reduce some of the opacity of some flakes To make it more realistic, I would add another layer. This layer doesn't have to be full of snow, it's just uh, some snowflakes and make the opacity to 100%. Adjust to where you want it to be. And those white spots are too obvious, just remove them from the baby and that big, big white. Uh, snowflake is too strong, I would remove it or maybe reduce it. It's up to your taste. Yeah, I think adding two layers makes makes it more realistic. Other images I'm happy to just leave without the snows. Okay, so 
just some before and after, some minor changes and this one added a little bit of snowflakes some before and after Okay, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.